so welcome everybody. I'm Christian Hari from the uh, former head of uh, cybersecurity uh, from Magyar Telecom. And now we are here in a special new setup because we are talking before the presentation. So it's, it's a little bit different and a little bit different as before. So first of all, I would like to ask everybody to give us some short introduction. And uh, not just the company and, uh, and the name and these kind of things, but uh, some words about why did you cho choose the security? <laughs> Igor? Okay. Magyar angol. Aki nem ismer, a nevem Urbán Igor, Forcepoint képviselem. Uh, alapban a security-hoz azt hiszem, hogy 2000, 2001 bejutottam el, mikor elkezdtem az első munkát egy szisztémintegrációs cégnek, ahol pont a security divízióba uh, voltam besorolva, és azóta valahogy nem tudtam kimászni. Uh, hat és fél évvel ezelőtt jöttek egy ikreim, azok is úgynevezett cluster, egy, egy új cluster, aktív és rádióaktív, szóval maradott mindig a security, és így valahogy megkedveltem az egészet. <gül> Ahogy lehet hallani, beszélek magyarul, de ez nem a anyanyelvem, de a Krisztiánál ezt beszéltünk, hogy próbáljuk nyomni magyarul, és meglássuk, hogy fog menni. Cég. Céget azt mondtam, Force Point. Ja. Vagy aki nem ismeri, akkor volt WebSense. Oké, okay. Rim? Uh, it's gonna be in English, guys. Um, <laughs> My name is Viram uh, Zrachia. Um, I work as a security evangelist for uh, Juniper Networks. Uh, I'm a strong believer in the power of community, uh, so I am a member of uh, several professional communities, uh, such as um, ISACA, I'm a CISM certified, IC Square, I'm CISSP, SANS, I'm also GCIH. Um, in addition, I am a researcher at the um, Interdisciplinary uh, Cyber Research Center at Tel Aviv University. Um, my area of expertise is uh, threat intelligence sharing, which is accidentally um, also the topic of my talk today. Um, I got to, um, uh, to cybersecurity um, as, as a networking expert. I started a long time ago, um, and when I started, I thought that it's not going to be a substantial uh, uh, job. I mean, I didn't think it's going to last. I, I pre I'm pretty sure that now we all agree that our grandchildren are going to have a job with cybersecurity. It's never going to end. So that's my uh, point of view, and I'm looking forward uh, to talk to you uh, later on the session. Thank you. Peter. And I'm Peter Koshinar. I come from Slovakia from a company named ESET, a security vendor. And uh, well, my path to security started quite some time ago with reading um, an article or like two parts article in uh, one magazine when they were talking about the dark ghosts of the digital world. And it was like, uh, what's that? As it turns out, it was about computer viruses, the very first ones being, being described in very simple terms. And I was like, okay, that's interesting thing. Let's try to look into it a bit more. And I started looking into it a bit more, a bit more, and even a bit more. And then I found out that someone hacked our school's server. And that's how I combined what I have seen from the area of viruses and the low-level assembler and similar stuff with the network attacks. And as it turns out, I still like it. It is still interesting to play with the security and figure out what the bad guys are doing, how to deal with them. And so far, it was said just a few moments ago, this is going to last. I think there will be more than enough fun for me to play with in the next couple of decades. So thank you. So as, as I quickly calculated, we have approximately 70 years experiences in security. So with all of these experiences and knowledge, uh, we know it's a long, long time ago, it's more than 20 years ago, this, the security was it's, uh, some viruses, some network separations, some firewalls, and these kind of stuff. But now we, it's, we know the winter is coming, or here. <laughs> And uh, the question is, uh, with all your knowledge and uh, experiences, what is your uh, uh, view about the future of the security? 
Yeah, if, if, if I may start, uh, we do believe it's, it's getting more human-centric. So basically, that's what we are seeing in last years. So the technology is, is developing and, and changing rapidly and from year to year, from month to month. But basically, my, my favorite example is like a gun. Right, so if you have a gun, you're, you're quite a dangerous guy, but it's still up your decision if you're gonna pull the trigger. And the same thing is about the security, so we have all this artificial intelligence and all the technology behind, but still the key question is the motivation, and the motivation comes from the people. So behind the good guys and behind the bad guys, it's still someone concrete with a specific motivation of doing one thing or the other. So we have the motivation to do the good thing, <laughs> But there's a plenty one with some motivations to do the bad thing. So the, the, the technology definitely will evolve somehow, but the, the key point is to, to know and have the context about what is the motivation and the people behind it. Um, do we have two hours to discuss it now? <laughs> Um, I, I'll just refer to one point. I think that uh, we all agree we are, we are at, on the edge of the IoT revolution. And in that context, I think uh, the network will play a key uh, role in defending against IoT attacks uh, since the footprint of those devices is not enough uh, to have a security, endpoint security uh, solutions. And also, it's not manageable uh, with the scale of and diversity of those devices. So what I see is the uh, evolution of machine learning on the way to AI mechanisms deployed on the network layer to defend against IoT uh, uh, threats. And if eventually, as we at Uniper Networks believe, this will evolve into what we call a self-driving network. So a completely or nearly completely independent autonomous network uh, entity that will defend itself. So this is the vision that we see in the future, just as is happening right now at the, at the uh, automobile industry with autonomous cars. We think the networks are going to be uh, just the same in several years. I am getting slightly worried now because I heard from the guys who understand the networks the best that we are slowly building Skynet. And last time I saw it in Terminator, it didn't end up well. So, yeah, actually, I do think that artificial intelligence and many other things will be helping us improve our capabilities in terms of offense and defense as well. Also, the people will adjust and adapt to the new changes because, well, there was some kind of expectation, for example, of privacy from the smart people who were developing the first internets. But it's not something that is shared by many of the regular people. Many of them are happily sharing everything they have with everybody around, including Google, Facebook, and whoever you know. So perhaps the humans are changing based on what the computers are doing already. So predicting what will happen is not just the factor of technology, how the technology will evolve, but also how the people will evolve. Then something that I cannot really predict. I'm not a psychologist, and I don't think we have any reasonable model of how people will behave in even 10 years, not even 20. But at the same time, I think that there is enough space for playing in the area of security to figure out how to do our best to limit the potential damages that can be occurring and happening from any kind of technology that is around. And the more we put into the automated systems, the more interesting targets they will become, so the more protected they will need to be. And that's something that I think we sh should and will be looking into, how to protect the evolving systems even better, faster, and to keep up with the speed of evolution in the first place. So we have everything, that human factor, the automation, the, the dangerous machines. So that looks nice. So we have a really exciting future. So <laughs> shortly, this, we have only a really short time for this discussion. And thank you very much for guys, your, your thought. And um, we can start with the first presentation, Igor. The floor is yours.